Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I am Binti Balu. Actually, let's start a different introduction. I get that introduction, I have it in every video. I'm back in a coin, I don't know what to do. Hello, hello, give me five. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I am Binti Balu and I make videos about Africa and Africa. So if you think you'd like to watch a video from me, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. And you can be part of the Binti Malu squad with a K-W-A-D. Now let's go into the video. Today we're going to be talking about 10 Swahili proverbs. And I made another video like this. I'm going to link it below as well as on top. So you can watch that if you'd like to and a disclaimer as i always do these are my interpretation of the proverbs by any means this is not what it may mean to me that's what it means but that doesn't mean it's the correct thing i feel like proverbs are some proverbs are something that you can have different meanings and the more meanings they have the more meaningful it is so if you have made a good proverb it can be translated in different ways and that's just how I feel. So this is my translation of these proverbs. I'll be saying them in Swahili, then I'm going to have them written down here in English for those who want to follow up in English. But I'm going to discuss about them in English as well. So I'll just read them out in Swahili, then we're going to have the discussion of my thoughts in English. So yeah, let's now jump into the video. Okay, so the first one is Kidole Kimoje Hakivunji Chawa. And this is all about unity, that you don't like one finger is not gonna do much but when you have more people there's more that can be accomplished so some things you can do alone but other things you need people you need that unity you need that communal motivation to get things done there it's like saying Rome was not built in a day well is it that way something like that because when you think about it there were certain things, everybody played a role in building Rome. So that's how it is, that you need, unity is essential and one person can't raise a kid. It takes a whole village to raise a kid, as I said in my previous one as well. Okay, so let's go for the second one and that is Kujikwa si kwanguka. And this basically means like there's sometimes when you're doing something or you're in a journey, you go through a stumbling block you will fall at some point. So you need to keep in mind that you need to get up and keep moving. Just because you had an obstacle doesn't mean that it's a bad plan. It simply means it's a stumbling block along the way. You need to jump over it and just keep pushing in life. So that's that's what it means to me. So let's go to the third one and that is Mpandangazi Hushuka. And so for this one it basically means that they're gonna, you're going to have high moments and low moments in your life. Just because you're at your good moment in life doesn't mean you should look down on those people who are going through problems. Or just because you're at a higher standard, however society might place it, doesn't mean you need to look down on those who are beneath you. Because at some point, trust me, life has its way, what goes around comes around. And there is a point whereby you will go low and you're going to need that person you look down upon. So always remember to be humble because... You're gonna go up and you're gonna come down. You're not gonna always stay up. So on your way up, don't step on those people who are below you. That's that's what it means in my opinion. So there we go. Alright, so the next one is Manahoza Wengi Chombo and Brahma. It's like too many cooks spoil the broth. So some things are better done in smaller groups than in larger groups. Like if you're going to make a decision about your life, you're better off making your decision on your own and consulting a few people rather than consulting everybody because everyone is going to have an opinion about it. And at the end of the day, you're going to be more confused than none. Now what's the opposite of confused? More confused than clear. So, you know, like the fewer the people, the more gets accomplished in some situations. While in other situations, you need more people to get accomplished. But in some situations, the more the people, the more people they are, the worse the situation becomes. So, you know, another wanky, what about you? Another wanky, chumbo and Brahma. Keep that in mind. It doesn't apply to all situations in your life, but it applies to some of them. And for me, it applies to a lot of them at this point in my life. So, something also I keep in mind. 
The next one is Maneno Makali Hayavunji Mfupa. Oh, Mfupa. Mfupa. And there's that thing that says, Take and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. That's what it says. People are going to say bad things about you. Whether you're doing good or you're doing bad, there's someone who's always going to say something terrible about you. And this basically say words are not going to hurt you. They're not going to break your bones. You need to just, you know, value yourself, love yourself. And the people who are always going to say things about your life, give their opinion about your life. But at the end of the day, you and God are the only one who are in charge of your life don't let any other person don't let any other person's words um impact your life in a negative way does it make sense if someone is belittling you or saying bad things about you don't let it hurt you those are just mere words they're gonna say people are gonna talk and at the end of the day it's you you need to work on you, you need to love yourself you need to value you and know what god has in store for you and just go for that Forget what everyone else has to say. I mean, there are times where you have to take good criticism, but don't let negativity, the negativity of others, influence your self-worth. So, there you go. Okay, the next one is Mchagwa Diembe Simkulima. Yeah, Mchagwa Diembe Simkulima. So, you know that those times whereby someone tells you to do something and then you come up with an excuse like, oh, I don't have this, or I don't have that, or I don't have this time, or I don't have that time. This saying basically means that if it's something, you, you don't have to make excuses. You don't have to be picky about things. And this also applies in terms of some of us are picky about the jobs we can do. Just because we have an education, we can go farming. Or just because we have an education, we can go cleaning. You have to start at some point in your life. You know, you're, all not, you're not always going to clean, but you need to start somewhere. And if cleaning is something that can get you through life at that point in your life, then go ahead and do it. And you're going to climb your ladder slowly by slowly. But don't just, don't choose jobs, you know? Like, if you need to sustain yourself, do what you need to do to sustain yourself. Don't be picky about things like just because I lived abroad that I can go back and work in an office job. I don't need to be like a CEO or something like that. That makes no sense in my head. Don't pick your jobs. Do whatever you have to do in a certain point in your life and continue working until you become, you get to do whatever you're passionate about. So don't be picky about jobs just because you're at a given status. You need to keep in mind that you're not going to have that job for the rest of your life. You don't need to be in that job for the rest of your life. You just have to start somewhere. So that's that's how I look at it. Ah, yeah. The next one is Mpanda Sara. Oh, <laughs> Mpanda Farasi where we lihupasu kamsamba. And this is all about multitasking. The same saying goes mshikama wili mojo mponyoka. So when you're going to do something, concentrate on one thing and not so many things at once. Because, you know, you are, you can really concentrate. You know like how you say you can serve two masters? You can serve God and Satan? Same thing applies in some tasks in your life. You can't multitask in certain aspects or in certain things in your life. Now, I, I love multitasking. If I can get two things done at one time, I will get them done. But when it's something that needs my attention and I need to concentrate on it, I choose not to multitask. If I'm doing an assignment, I can be doing my assignment listening to music. My mind can focus like that. But let's say if I am writing something or doing like journaling, I can journal and listen to music because when I write things from my head, I just concentrate on that. But even then, I might have no, I might not need music either. So multitasking is something that efficiency and multitasking are, you know, like the more you multitask, the less efficient you are. The less you multitask, the more efficient you are. So multitasking is something you shouldn't be doing in important matters. That means some things you can multitask while others you can't. So keep that in mind. Okay, the next one is mstahimilivu hulambivu. And this basically means that if you're patient, you're going to reap the fruits of your patience. So patience is something I learned, I'm learning to, to, to obtain. I tend to be very impatient in so many aspects in my life. It's not even a joke. Like someone, I will write to you a text message and I'm expecting you to reply instantly because my patience level is really, really down. So it's something that I'm working on 
and I feel like patience has a lot of benefits not only do you not stress about things but it's like if someone if I write to someone I'm gonna write to you if you reply well and well and good if not I'm gonna wait and not stress about the waiting if that makes sense so patience is something I'm trying to attain and patience and perseverance that's what this is all about okay now the ninth one is so if you want something you need to labor for it you need to go for it you don't you just can sit around and be like oh i want to be rich and just sit and wait for yourself to be rich no no that's not how it works in life i mean for some people they were born rich or they're born into rich families but even then you still need to do something to maintain that richness if it makes sense so if you really want something if you're ambitious about something you need to work hard towards it you need to work for it nothing comes out from nothing you know like there's a thing that god blesses those who eh? god helps those who help themselves i mean it's not entirely true but the logic behind it <clears throat> the logic behind it is relevant so yeah yeah the last one is now i don't know i'm feeling iffy about this saying i mean yes at times when you bring up a child well they're gonna turn out well and sometimes they're gonna bring up a child well in your way but they're not gonna turn out well in the way you expected it to be but at the end of the day whatever principles you install in your kids they're gonna carry them with them they're gonna carry them with them they're gonna carry them with them for their life and they might install the, the same principles to their kids or teach them better principle based on what you installed in them so whether good or bad what however you bring up your child is gonna impact them in their lives some might choose to acknowledge that's true others might be in denial of it but trust me parents have a big influence in the children and as parents we need i mean people parents need to be careful in the role that they want to play in their children's lives so those are the 10 proverbs swahili proverbs and if you guys like this video give it a like comment below what are some of your favorite swahili proverbs i shall feature them in the upcoming videos and that's it for this video remember to keep spreading the african love or whatever kind of love you have to offer because there's no room for hate and i shall see you guys in my next video Koherini!